in this video tutorial we will be investigating a square plate um, with a model analysis looking at its natural frequencies and um, mold shapes so first we want to make sure our model properties are correct first change the units to millimeters newtons and seconds and set that as your choice and then define your material. If you do it the other way around it usually uh, causes problems with uh, material properties. So steel low carbon is our choice for this plate. And we'll close this and we'll create the plate on this uh, datum plane. So we'll simply create a sketch and that sketch is a basic rectangle and we just need to make sure that it's just one meter square and that is okay and that sketch is in our tree and what we can do is um, use a sketch to create a fill operation so that creates a surface area and what I'll do next is in simulate mesh this with shell elements so we'll use shell idealization so we'll go to refine model shell and then choose this area and specify a thickness of 6 millimeters with still low carbon material so that has been defined the next part is to specify some mesh controls and on the surface we can say make the elements let's say 200 millimeters side length and we can look at what the elements look like um, so there are just um, about 46 elements on this plate this is quite a rough mesh but remember this is a p-type element uh, that means uh, each element has up to 9th order polynomial representing its displacements on each edge so in fact it's uh, quite refined for this analysis now we can go to home and then specify the displacements and what I want to create is um, the edges supported uh, fully in translation but they'll be free in rotation so I selected all the edges and I'm selecting that they are fixed in translation but free in rotation so ok that and that's my model effectively ready to solve I can go to analysis and studies define a new model analysis and what I want to specify is a number of modes so we can do as many modes as we like let's say six in this case and at the convergence tab we can choose the multipass adaptive with a maximum of ninth order and five percent convergence um, the other ones can be left as default at this stage so we can ok that and then solve this problem so it has solved fairly quickly in five passes we can close that and look at the results the results of a model analysis are simply the mode uh, shapes and the natural frequencies so the results window definition lists the modes so the first mode is 29 Hertz the second mode is 73 same as mode 3 and mode 4 is 117 Hertz mode 5 and mode 6 are 146 Hertz so we can look at what the mode 1 looks like we can change the display option to show deformed with undeformed overlay and with element edges and also animate to show um, how the vibration 
will look like. Uh, so this is for the, the first mode, which is at 29 hertz. And we can look at the other modes. We can click on mode 2. OK, and show. So we can see that this is um, symmetric that way in this line. We can look at what is mode 3. And that would be um, in an other symmetry line. And we can look at mode 4. And that's a higher mode at 117 hertz. And the final mode, mode 5 and mode 6, they are also uh, similar, but again higher order in the x direction and also will be in the z direction. So this mode is at 146 hertz. So next thing I want to investigate is what is the effect of adding a mass onto this structure. So we can look at mode 1 again. So that mode 1 was a simple up and down motion for the whole plate and the maximum displacement was at the center so that was at 29 hertz so we'll keep that value in mind and we'll try to add a mass and see the effect of that in our uh, structure so adding mass is possible under refined model and simply using a point mass for example but for that I need a point defined on the surface and it's easily defined using an offset coordinate system. So I can select my coordinate system definition and click on that box and that creates XYZ point zero. So we can say in X direction put this point at 500 and in the Z direction minus 500 and that will center the point on the plate. So I can OK that and when I go to mass and specify a simple definition of mass I can choose that point as my uh, mass center. So this is a point mass at the center of the plate and I just need to simply enter the mass um, in terms of kilograms for example. So that's OK. And I can solve with, the, with these conditions on. Go back to analysis and simulation and rerun the analysis. Again, solved in five passes. I can look at the results of that and the interesting mode will be mode 1. You can see that that mode has dropped to 17 Hertz. So that was the effect of the added mass on the structure. When you look at the um, motion of the structure, the eigenvectors, how this will be sort of moving, um, it is same as the previous mode 1 uh, but this time it is at 17 Hertz rather than 29 Hertz. If we check what happened to mode 2 and mode 3 um, these haven't changed at all. I can show that. It's simply because the mass was centered and in this particular mode that mass isn't moving at all. So the contribution of that mass to this vibration mode is effectively zero. But for higher order modes, uh, these will be um, affected by the participation from this mass. So this effectively concludes our model analysis tutorial.